My name is Charlie White. I live in a rental home downtown with my three unreliable friends, and we are all what the police would consider as thieves. We lived here for less than a year. It was a nice place. We all had our own room except for Oliver. He had to sleep on the couch in my room. That didn't really bother me though. Oliver and I had a stronger bond than anyone else in that house. He was good at talking about many things, normally whatever the hell was on his mind. Charlie. Yeah, yeah? If you ever tried a jalapeno popper? No, what the hell's a jalapeno popper, man? It's basically a deep fried jalapeno pepper. That sounds disgusting. Our biggest problem at the time was our money. The amount of money we were bringing into our house monthly was about the same as a sixth grader's weekly allowance. We all had separate jobs to pay for the house. Charlie would go around town to put up signs about our paper route business. Call this number, leave your address and card number to get your weekly paper. And yeah, we didn't charge much for it, but the more and more we delivered, the more we charged them. One month it was a paper route, and then another, we were a moving company. Give us a time and a place, and we'll come and get your shit. I'm sorry, Mrs. Brandt. The toaster you put in our truck wasn't tightened down enough and flew out while we were on the highway. That was always the line when we would accidentally lose something. And of course, they would still pay us. I mean, we did do the job. But for every pay deduction we received for losing something, that was just another toaster, microwave, TV, or a chair popping up in our own home. We ate what we had, and most of it was stolen. Ramen, eggs, potatoes, Hot Pockets, and cereal. I tried to stay in shape the best I could. Doing push-ups, sit-ups, going on jogs on a foggy morning, that kind of thing. Marie was another friend in our group. She was sort of a lifesaver when it came to our money problems. Most recently, she had landed a job as a bank teller. She was making enough money to live out on her own. But still, for some reason, she stuck with us. And then, we have Teddy. He's an absolute asshole. Teddy and I have been friends since we were young, but as we both grew up and I changed, he sure as hell didn't. Hello? Finally you picked up. I've been waiting outside the house for a half hour. Why? Because your rent's due today, that's why. Where is everyone? At least four of you live here. Why didn't any of them let me in? Oh my god. Did you just wake up? Do you, okay, do you want your money or what? Charlie, you're 300 short. We're broke, Emma. What do you want us to do? I know what you can do. You can pay me double next month or I'm kicking you all out. I've let this slide way too much. kidding, Charlie. Now, uh, I'm a pretty nice guy, but two grand is something I'm not just gonna hand out. How's your small business doing? Not great, which is why we fall short this month. Ben, we've done every job in town. Ben was always a huge help when it came to our money problems. I knew him in high school, but we were never that close. Ben was the type of guy who would do jobs that none of us would even consider doing. You can go leave some money in my mailbox if you want. No, that's fine. You don't have to do that right now. All right, well, once I get some more money, I can give you a little bit. Thanks, man. Hey guys. Hey. What's up? Where's Charlie? 
He's upstairs, probably hatching another one of his half-baked schemes. I got a plan. A charity? The Red Heart's charity. I see that, but what does this have to do with your idea? This past week, I've been really thinking about how we could solve our money problems. Ray's job as a bank teller is already a huge help to us. But with my new idea, I don't think we're going to have to work a day in our lives. So, you want to steal from a charity? Kind of. I've been thinking of a few ways we might be able to profit off this. So what I think I could do is I could just call this number. I would join the group, somehow become the head, and then over a period of time, start to take small chunks of money out for ourselves. Teddy and Ollie, you could talk to the other people in the group, including the head, and tell them about how much of an upstanding citizen and a loyal, trustworthy person I am. That way, for when I randomly become the head, everyone's going to be on my side. Murray, you're already a bank teller, so that eliminates a great part of our plan. You'd be the one in charge of putting money into the charity. However, you wouldn't do anything until I bribed the original head to step down. Once I step up and gain everyone's trust thanks to Teddy and Ollie, Marie can start taking small chunks of money out for ourselves. And once the charity starts to make more and more money, well, I'm down. Marie? Why not? You're gonna steal from a charity? Charlie, I've done some messed up stuff, but this is something to add to my resume. It would be helpful if you were involved with this. You could somehow work your magic and make me head of the organization. So you're doing this all because you can't pay your rent? Did you sign up for the charity yet? Not yet. Okay, well, well, once you're in the charity and get involved for a few weeks, uh, I think that would be a good time to hop on and become the head. It's not a bad idea. So you're stealing from a charity, and you're gonna take the money. Where are you gonna keep it all? I was thinking about hiding it somewhere in my house. Well, if you're doing something risky like this and stealing money, um, you're gonna wanna keep it in a safe place. So how about your best friend Ben's house? I, I don't know, man. Why not? Ben, your work is dangerous, and I'd rather not someone come here and steal our money. Yeah, you're right. Just make sure you keep it tucked away safely because, you know, you live with Teddy and uh, I'm pretty sure he'd just take it and skip. Hi, thank you for calling the Red Hearts Charity. My name is Claire. How can I help you today? Uh, hi, my name is Charlie White. Um, I was calling this number because I saw your flyer and I wanted to volunteer for your organization. Oh, that's great. We don't have many people since they don't have the time to come here, so we appreciate people like you. Oh, uh, thanks. You said your name was Charlie White, correct? Yeah. Well, Charlie, our next meeting will be on Wednesday at the Park Pavilion. We're in. Two weeks in and everything was going fine. With help from Teddy and Ollie, I was starting to become friendly with everyone. Mostly everyone. Within the charity, I met some nice people, but there was just this one guy that no matter how hard I tried, I could not get along with. Charlie. Yeah. You got a minute? Yeah, what's up? So you know how you kept talking to me about how you wanted to like step up, maybe become the head? Right, of course, yeah. Well, I heard Claire is going to be making an announcement soon about choosing someone else to become the head. Really? All we gotta do is hope Paul doesn't steal all the votes. <laughs> I mean, as if anyone would even vote for that asshole. <laughs> I was thinking like, the same exact thing. Like, some people around here actually like that guy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. It's like, it's as if everyone around here, like, they act like they're forced to be friendly with him. Right. If everybody in the organization is like John, then stealing from this charity is going to be very easy. We'll just have to work around Paul. But there was just one doubt in my mind. Ben, I'm not sure I'm going to win the vote. What do you want me to do about that? Hey. What the hell? I wanted to ask you a question. Who are you? My name is Ben, but that's not important right now. I'm here because I wanted to ask you a question. 
What? What do you think about Charlie? Well, I think he's a nice person and he's dedicated to what he does. And Paul? What about him? How do you feel about him? He's a nice person, I guess. <laughs> Who are you going to pick to become the next leader? The head of the charity. If you can recall, you are in fact choosing another. I don't decide, the charity does. I understand that. Okay, well, how much will I have to pay you to make Charlie win? Today's the day we're gonna finally decide who the next leader of the charity is gonna be. I'm going to hand each of you a piece of paper and you're gonna write down who you want the leader to be. Yeah, you two are good. Did Ben do it? We're about to find out. All right. One for Paul. One for Charlie. One for John. One for Ollie. Two for Paul. Two for Charlie. Two for Ollie, three for Paul, three for Charlie, four for Charlie, and Charlie wins. What? Who the hell didn't vote for me? Is there anything you'd like to say, Charlie? Now, I joined this charity because I wanted to become a better person, and I also wanted to help other people out. Now. I don't consider myself to be much of a leader or any sort of a role model for that matter. But what I've been developing is a plan. A plan that's going to blow our average donation percentages out of the water. We are going to do everything we can to help out those in need. And I expect your dedication because in some aspects, things are going to be different. But believe me, it'll be for the better. Tell me, Charlie, what keeps you motivated with what you're doing here with the charity? The one thing that keeps me motivated constantly, and the one thing that I think about constantly, and sometimes even lose sleep about, is the fact that there's still people out there that need my help, this organization's help. And what made you realize that giving back to the people is an important asset to the community? I think that giving back to the people is going to be an important asset in the vitality of our community. I feel that if we can help out one another, we as a society will build and grow and be much stronger than we are today. All right, thank you for coming on the show, Charlie. It's been a pleasure having you. Thank you for having me. I was unstoppable. From TVs to steak dinners, I had it all. It was too easy to steal from them. All you'd need to do was give them an envelope full of money and then write the correct amount of money you'd be paying them. And they just took the money and dumped it with the rest. And to think that Paul, oh my God, Paul, <laughs> what was he gonna do? Did he think that anyone was gonna vote for that idiot? What would he have done in my position? Oh, and you want to know what he's doing now? He was spying on me. Apparently being very successful in stealing his job was enough to start staking out on me at my own home. If he really wanted what I've got, then he should have worked harder for it. After all, good things come to those who wait, and I'm done waiting. Hey! You're Marie, right? Yeah. I volunteer the charity with you. I'm Paul. Yeah, I'm familiar with you. You know Charlie? Yeah, uh, 
Him and I work well together in the organization. Really? He hasn't mentioned you before. Oh, are you and him in a relationship? No, we're just friends. Oh, well, uh, Charlie told me to pick up a package or something here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really know where to go, so you mind tagging along with me? Drop your gun. Why are you here? You owe me six grand, Ben. I'm working on it. I needed it by tonight, Ben. And you have nothing for me. You have until Friday. Hey, Teddy, can you go see who's at the door? What do you want? Go see who is at the door. There's no one here. What do you mean there's no one here? Check the mailbox or something. There's a letter. Bring it here. Charlie, there is something I need to show you. Charlie. Ben, what's going on? Well, obviously someone knows what we're doing, so I wanted to give you this. You know how to shoot it? Yeah. Just make sure you keep it in a safe place, you know? It might be bad if Teddy comes across it. The stress, the amount of fear I had every day was growing more and more. We continued to steal more money, but we still wouldn't have any more than $2,000. Charlie, I need to ask you something. Hmm. So, I've been seeing someone for a while, and I was wondering if you could come over and have dinner with us. <sighs> sure. Thanks, Charlie. Mm hmm. Charlie? Hmm. I'm gonna come over in a few minutes. I need to talk to you about something. Can you all go to your rooms for a minute? All right. for letting me come over, Charlie. Yeah. There's something I want to talk to you about. What? I need my cut. And I know this is gonna sound bad, but I, I need a lot more than what I wanted. Now why would I give you more than you deserved? I can't tell you. It would put us both at risk. Is everything okay? Marie, go back to your room.
Marie, now. I can give you your cut, but I can't give you anything more, no matter how urgent. It's nice knowing you, Charlie. Stop. Food's almost ready. Guys, I'd like you to meet Paul. Hey. Hey. Hey, Teddy. Hi. Have a seat, Paul. Thanks, Charlie. You have a very nice house, Marie. Thank you. Well, a steak this good must have cost a fortune. How much was it anyways? Uh, I think it was about like $15 a steak. You got my money. $15 a steak? Wow. Say, where do you guys work anyways? I mean, we all are in the charity, but that's not really a job. Well, I work at a Wait. I want Marie to tell me. Oh, well, Ollie works with Teddy at the pizza shop downtown. Oh, and uh, what does Charlie do? Charlie? He works all over town. He uh, helps people out of their homes, he mows their lawns. Uh, he doesn't want to get paid, but people insist on paying him. Take whatever you want. Just please don't- That's wonderful, Charlie. You have a good heart. You must have been born to help those in need. I put the name. Yeah, me too. You're not a good liar. What? It's easy to tell when you're lying. Why would you say that? Ever since Charlie joined the organization, I never knew why. He had no reason to be there. Well, not everyone needs a reason, Paul. Some people just like to help. Not this guy. He wouldn't do a thing. He only did what he was told to do and never went above and beyond. All of a sudden, Claire stepped down and Charlie becomes the head? Why? Nobody knew. Nobody questioned it, except for me. Why did he go up and not someone who actually cared? So I've been thinking a lot about this. Marie, are you stealing from the charity? How the hell did you come up with something like that? Give me your purse, Marie. Why? Give me your purse now. Marie, I think you're a nice person. I'm going to call the police. Your friends are going to be arrested for what they did. I won't tell them anything about you. You can keep your cut. But you know nothing about this. 
Now get the fuck out of my car. What's up? What? What's up with you? Paul knows. He called the police. Charlie, I'm gonna go after Teddy. I'll be right back. and just talk about this? You and I can split it. We can blame the whole thing on Charlie. He came up with the whole plan himself, didn't he? Charlie? Are you okay? Yeah. I just got the money. What about you? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. I've just been sitting in my car. Wh where are you? I can come pick you up. I killed Teddy. How? I accidentally pushed him in front of the car. Hey, pull over here.
What should we do with the money? I don't know. Let's just think about it in the morning.
Oh, 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 oh.